Mama Martha, Mama Grace, Jamii yote ya marehemu mzee wetu Simeon ya chai wakiongozwa hapa na Charles viongozi na waombolezaji wote ambao wamefika mimi niko hapa kwanza kama rais kutoa rambi rambi zangu na kutoa rambi rambi kwa familia kwa niaba ya mamilioni ya wakenya ambao hawangekuwa pamoja nasi sisi wote hapa kwa familia ya mwenda zake mzee wetu baba yetu Simeon ya chai ya pili niko hapa kibinafsi kwa niaba yangu na kwa niaba ya familia yangu kuungana pamoja na familia ya mzee Nyachai kuomboleza pamoja na wao na kuambia ya kwamba muko katika maombi yetu kama marafiki kama jamii ambazo zimekuwa pamoja poleni kwa niaba yangu poleni kwa niaba ya familia yangu na mpokee hizo rambi rambi kutoka kwetu La tatu tuko hapa kuungana pamoja na familia na wakenya wote kusherehekea maisha ya huyu mzee ambaye amelala hapa mbele yetu mzee ambaye amejitolea kwa hali na mali kutoka utoto wake mpaka kwa uzee mpaka akashindwa kwa sababu ya ugonjwa lakini akajitolea kufanyia taifa lake kazi na ni mengi ambayo tuko naye katika taifa letu leo ambalo tukiangalia nyuma tuliletewa kwa sababu ya juhudi ya huyu mzee ambaye amelala hapa tuamshukuru na hatuwezi tumsahau mimi kwangu mzee tumejuana miaka mingi kutoka kutoka utoto wangu na mashauri mengi yamenipatia mpaka pahali ambapo nimefika siwezi nikasahau na nataka niwaambie jamii ya kwamba hata tukiendelea mbele vile mzee amenishika mkono mimi pia niko tayari kuwashika mkono tuendelee safari hii pamoja nanyi he was a disciplined man and i liked the person mzee ambaye ametukumbusha the most important thing he was an honest man and a man of dignity and without doubt he was a disciplinarian but not only in disciplining others but the discipline within which he carried himself what he expected of others is what he expected from himself so it's not that he was out there saying wewe fanya what he was saying you do is what how he lived his own life and i think that is a very important message to take home that we were not here
to talk about somebody who used to talk at people and do the opposite. No. What he told us to do, he himself did. And that is the manner in which he lived his life. Kwa hivyo, siku ya leo, mimi sio siku ya kunena. Ni siku ya kumshukuru mwenyezi mungu kwa maisha ya huyu mzee. Ni siku ya kushirikiana na familia. Kuomboleza pamoja. Kusimama pamoja nanyi. Na kuambia ya kwamba muko katika maombi yetu. Na tutaendelea kushirikiana kwa mambo yote ambaye yatakuwa mbele yetu mbele ya nisome kwa sababu ningependa tu kusoma kidogo hapa kuna kitu kimoja tu leo nimejifahamisha na ni vizuri niseme kwa sababu hata kama na juana sana sana na vijana wake wote haswa wale ya marika yangu kuna moja wakati tulikuwa vijana tulikuwa tunatembea tembea huko na huku naitwa Ken ako hapa na nilikuwa najiuliza siku hizo tukiwa vijana huyu mtu mkienda pahali sasa mambo iwe moto kidogo huko anachemuka haraka haraka akishindwa na ya kusema ngumi zimekunjwa tiari lakini sasa najua hiyo mambo ilitokea wapi ni zile hapa kaa tulikuwa unagonga gongwa nyumbani ndio 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 ulikuwa unakuja kujaribu kutuletea sasa nimejua eh nimejua <laughs> eh lakini sasa tumetulia tumezeeka jameni tumezeeka so fellow mourners it is with immense grief and deep sense of personal sadness that i learned of the death of mzee simeon yachai and in this moment of great loss and sorrow, my family and I convey our deepest condolences and words of encouragement to the family, relatives, and friends of the late Mzee Chai. As we join all of you in mourning the passing of Mzee Chai, we also join you in celebrating his accomplishments. The Honorable Mzee Chai was a great son of Kenya whose immeasurable contributions to the nation spanned many decades and inspired millions of Kenyans. In the passing of the Honorable Nyachai, we are all deprived of his leadership, great passion, determination, and energy towards serving our country. And even in death, Muse Nyachai undoubtedly stands tall amongst dedicated patriots of this country. His service to Kenya was ca characterized by utmost integrity, rare zeal, unbridled commitment to duty, and a passionate candor that earned him accolades in three successive administrations. Mzee Nyachai was a remarkable leader who motivated all those around him to be honorable, decisive, and accountable to the people they serve. Mzee served the people of Kenya with diligence and devotion in different capacities, including that of cabinet minister, chief secretary, legis legislator of consequence, prominent businessman. And Kenya is undoubtedly better off for having had Mzee Nyachai and his legacy is fundamentally entwined with the peace, prosperity, and democracy that all Kenyans enjoy today. At a personal level, I vividly recall many interactions with the late Mzee Nyachai over the many years. Interactions with him as an elder, a mentor, a counselor, and a friend. Mzee Nyachai always had a word of wisdom, advice, and encouragement for me. And his impact on my life shall never be lost, just as his vision of this country shall never be forgotten. Therefore, as we mourn the loss of, therefore, as we mourn the loss of this great son of Kenya, 
We pray tribute to his legacy, which I trust will be carried on for generations to come. Titans of history like the late Mzee Nyachai only die a physical death, for in their legacy and the millions of lives they have made better, they enjoy immortality of the soul. Mzee Nyachai will live on forever in our hearts, our minds, and memories, and in the history of a nation that is eternally grateful for his exemplary service. In his memory, and in consultation with the leadership of Kisi County, and to fortify our appreciation of this great son of Kenya, as a government, we have considered it fit to rename this stadium the Simeon Yachai Stadium Kisi. and to ensure that this stadium is completed by the end of this year and to an international standard, we will allocate an additional Kenya shillings 150 million to the county government of Kisi to have this stadium complete. Further, we have decided at Nyantagru Stadium. Yeah, you. Ambapo pia mzee nyachai hapo walitoka hapo. We have decided that in order to give the sons and daughters of the Gusi community an opportunity to tap their sports potential, as we heard of the late Mzee Nyachai. Today, I also direct the Cabinet Sec Secretary for Sports, Culture, and Heritage to embark immediately on the development of a sports academy at Nyantrago Stadium, Ambayo Sasa Itaitwa Nyantika. Mayoro Sports Academy. Amna uh, hiyo. Na hata hiyo, tujaribu tumaliza mbele ya niende nyumbani. So ladies and gentlemen, let us take solace from the word of God in Psalm 73, 26, which says, My flesh, my heart may fail, but God is the strength of my heart and my portion forever. We pray the Almighty God rest the soul of this great man in eternal peace. Asante ni sana, mungu wa wabariki.